Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to Nagai to Glory episode 2. It's been a bit of a slow start, but we're getting the ball rolling. So as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, because unless something drastic happens this episode, I know what it's going to be, we are introducing the starter team. Now, I'll be honest, it is a starter team. Starter in the sense that it's the first team of the Nagai to Glory series. Starter in terms of the beginning of the game. Probably not. But without any further ado, because I am already very excited for this series, let us jump into the NTG and let me update you on where the club currently is. So here we are in the NTG. Nagai to Glory. However, as you can see on the screen, it's not called Nagai to Glory. It is called Super Kensuke. And this is because for some reason, Nagai is not a word that is allowed in your name. I think I could probably guess why, but EA don't allow the name Nagai. So it is Super Kensuke, but of course it is the NTG still. I'm not changing the series because Super Kensuke just doesn't sound as good. So last episode, if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link to it at the end of this video because I actually think it was quite a decent video if I do say so myself. It was a pack opening and I spent 80 pounds of my own money, but we did actually get some decent pulls back and we managed to make about 300k. Uh, as you can see, I don't currently have 300k in the account, and that is because I spent a lot of it on the starter team. At the time of recording the first episode, it was the ones to watch promo that has been and gone, and we are now into Road to the Knockouts. Team two comes out tomorrow at the time of recording this, and we have actually managed to pick ourselves up some Road to the Knockouts since last episode. We managed to pack ourselves Graven Birch from one of those 75 plus two player picks, the player pick luck looks like it's followed me from FIFA 21 into FIFA 22. Ajax absolutely destroyed Borussia Dortmund 4-0, so he'll get at least one upgrade. And then we've also done the Benjamin Andre uh, objective. We did also pack ourselves Arturo Vidal, who at the time of packing him was about 80k. And then since Inter Milan won a game and he got an upgrade, he's now dropped to about 50k, which in my head makes no sense whatsoever. But as you can see on the transfer list, we did manage to sell him for 53,000 coins. And I'm going to use the 50k to complete an SBC because this guy is apparently a beast and he fits into our team. It is Nabil Fakir. I say he fits into the team as if I've showed you the team yet. I know, I'm aware that I haven't, but go with me. Batiste have also won the game, so he's already going to get an upgrade, and he looks pretty decent if I do say so. So we'll probably unlock him in time for next episode. So NTG number three will have Fakir in the team. Speaking of the team, then let's not waste any more time. Then let's jump into the NTG starting squad. <laughs> Now, I did say it is starter squad in the loosest sense of the term because, um, well, let me just show you. Welcome to the team. Look at this. Starting from the bottom, we've got 84 Bono in goal. I actually got him in my Team of the Week 1 pack that I got for pre-ordering the game, I believe. We have then got the two severe centre-backs in Kunde and Diego Carlos. I mean, Kunde is a joke. An absolute joke. And Diego Carlos is solid. You know, I think I used him last year for Owen and Owen. He's not as good as Kunde, but he's not bad. Uh, fullbacks, Dest, first owner again, packed him in the first week of the game. And then Emerson, because he connects the Brazilian links to the Premier Link of Leon Bailey, one to watch, which you saw me pack if you watched last episode. He's a very decent card again. I'm hoping that he can finally recover from his injury and play some football so that he can get some upgrades. On the left, we've got Vinny Jr. himself. I mean, five star skills. He was about 20k at the time when I packed him. Um, I didn't sell him, as you can see. I decided to keep him, and what a decision that was. I won't lie, I love this card. We also have a perfect link in the team as he links to Casemiro. Now, I didn't get Casemiro in the pack opening, but I have packed him since. As you can see, first owner. He is tradable, so if we decide that he's rubbish, then we'll get rid of him. Now, we did pack um, Delaney in the pack opening last episode. However, he's a bit slow, he's a bit stiff. For the meta of this game, it didn't really work. So we went instead for Kamavinga, who was the objective card, and he is decent. He's very decent indeed. Now, the other two players are, I mean, there was only one way I was going to get Nagai on chemistry, really, wasn't there? 
and that was Nakata himself. A lot of the 300k went on Nakata, bought over 215,000 coins. Could have got him a little bit cheaper, but I wanted a card that's fresh. Um, I mean, that's just my OCD, really, to be honest. He's been all right. Again, I play him center mid as well, which is probably stupid, and it's probably not the thing I should do, but I do it anyway. And then, of course, the man himself, Super Suke Kensuke Nagai. Can I just say he is not made an appearance in a squad battles team yet and he scored 78 goals in 49 games. A lot of that is because I try and feed him the ball as much as possible just because I love using him. I'm going to be brutally honest, he's not as good as last year and I think that is because the meta of this game does not suit him this year. I mean he does also have a little bit of a pace downgrade. I've slapped a hunter on him so he's got 99 anyway. Because I've slapped a hunter, the agility and balance that I managed to buff with the chemistry style last year he hasn't got that this year, so he's a little bit stiffer. However, he's still got 77 finishing and 99 pace. So, and I said at the beginning of last episode, it's going to be a lot tougher this year. I mean, we had an, a literal icon striker last year, and now we've got a 68 rated striker from the Japanese league. But this is the NTG. This is the Nagai to Glory starter team. Now, before we jump into the gameplay, we do actually have 10 player picks. As I said, all my luck last year came from player picks. So hopefully that can continue. I've made 10, they are 75 plus rated, which basically means they're gold, but I think they are all rares. I don't think you can get commons in them. We are looking, of course, for some Road to the Knockouts, maybe some Informs, and maybe just some good fodder that I can chuck in the Fakir SBC. So starting off, back to front, of course, if you watched my Owen and Owen series, you know it worked out well. First player pick of the day, it is 83 Aspilicueta. See, what a fantastic start that is. A board, straight away we don't mind that at all next player pick not as good provod um i won't lie it's a bit laggy and i don't understand why it's lagging uh there we go there we go that i'll be honest that's the one guy i wanted because he actually fits the team i said diego carlos is not as good as kunde and he might have just been replaced straight away he goes for approximately 20p i'm pretty sure but hopefully west ham can get a win they may have already played I, i'm not really following west ham but i will do now 283 rated center backs and a provod <laughs> you know it's been a pretty decent start the player pick luck has continued on from fifa 21 we get jeremy doku who had a an incredible Silver Stars card last year. Uh, halfway through the player picks then, and we get ourselves Anthony. Kulisevsky, but we've already got him. That's a bit disappointing. Coming into the last four player picks, 83 Axel Witzel. We take that. We take the fodder. Final three player picks then. Can we get a walkout? I, do you know what? <laughs> do you know what? I got baited twice then. I saw the black and I thought it was an inform. And then I saw the 85 and I thought 85 was a walkout. It's not. It is just a board. And it is Benucci, who I still haven't forgiven for the uh, Euros final. But, you know, we'll take him anyway. We've got a Pereira. And the final player pick we have got ourselves. Ollie Watkins. Do you know what? From 10 player picks, three boards and a road to the knockouts uh, Diop. I will take that every day of the week. I think without any further ado then, it is finally time to jump into the first games of FIFA 22 Nagai to Glory. Here we go then, look at the boys in the FC Tokyo kit. I'm gonna go for the away kit. I do like the away kit, I can't lie. I mean, this if this Japan kit was in the game, 100% I'd be straight on that. Because what a kit this is. Oh, I mean, if this guy ever wants to play the video game, I can stop looking at myself in my own camera. Here we go. Let's have a look at the team. It's just a prem team, really. Greenish at centre back is a is a bold choice. Come on, the NTG. Let's start with a good one. Kunde in there straight away. Look at this. Right, go on, Vinny J. Vinny Junior. Nagel's making a run. Oh, you see, you see what I mean. He 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 kind of turns like a bus. Oh, he's trying it. Oh, and Vinny J's not, knocked off his toes. Nagai is sent into the shops. Can he finish it? First goal of the series has gone to Super Suke Kensuke Nagai. Of course it has. Come on, lad. First game, first shot, first goal for Super Kensuke Nagai. Was it ever in doubt? No. This guy's paused it already. I'm hoping he's going to do subs. Have it. He's just kicked it out of play. I think he's off. 
All right, Donny lost his head. Not really a fair reflection of our team. Let's just jump into another one then, I guess. Here we go, team number two. Oh, he's got Diop. And he's also got Gabriel Jesus ridiculously off camera. Do you know what? I do think I need to be in a higher division. Who knows, this guy might beat me. Couldn't they again? It's just so good. Camavinga to the Super Suitcase. Where is Nakata going? Come on, Nakata. Come on, Nakata. Slot him through. Super Suke, now guys, second shot, saved by Mendy. I made the mistake of finesse shot him. Anyone who plays this game knows that you do not finesse shot, and with oh, he's through, and he scored. Well, I take back what I said about this guy uh, at the beginning. Have it. Oh, no. Okay, okay, 2-0. We're fine. We are fine. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Go on, Bailey. Go on, Bailey. Okay, Rudiger's got you. Nakata to Nagai. Unselfishly to Vinny J. He's moved his keeper, but he's scored anyway. Why is he pausing it? I swear to God, if he leaves, I think he's making subs. If you're making subs, that is fine. Unselfish from Nagai. Then we've scored two goals in this series, and Nagai has got one and assisted the second one. I mean. Here he is, Nagai again. Nagai again, he's been unselfish again, he's given it to Dest! Oh my, what a save. Good effort from Serginio Dest. Ball nicked off of him. Couldn't they tidy it up? Dest to Nagai. He's round one. Oh, he's past the second, and he's just buried it in the top corner. Of course he has. Of course he has. Get him in front of goal and he'll finish it nine times out of ten. It's just trying to get him there. It's a bit tougher this year. Camavinga. Still Camavinga. Still Camavinga. Not anymore. It is no longer Camavinga. Oh, that was a handball, but we take it. Nagai. Oh, that was nearly through his legs. That was nearly through his legs. Nagai. Oh! Oh, well, I've done that. It takes me three to five working days to pull that skill off. I don't know why I did that. I know it's a starter team, but I don't know where to go from here. I mean, we do have two players coming in, but there's not a lot of areas that I think I need to change, really. He's he's sweaty in it. He's Bono. Bono. 3-2 then. So we go again. He didn't leave, although he's not currently playing. Nagai, right. Nagai, you thought Owen was bad at passing the ball. Nagai is equally bad, if not worse, at passing the ball. However, his excuse is that he's 68 rated and Owen was an icon. We are 3-2 down. I do think this will be the last game of the episode because I don't want to make really long episodes because people just get bored and click off the videos. And I want to make, you know, a fun, compact series this year. Come on, lads. We need a big performance in this second half. Dest, Kamavinga, Nakata. Oh, he's moved his keeper. He's moved his keeper. You're in Div 7, Div Rivals, you move your keeper. Oh, that's a foul. What's happening? Emerson. Why is Emerson there? Why is Emerson bagged? Nakata deserves a goal then. How Emerson even got there, I don't know. But we take it. Right, his counter-attack's looking pretty strong. That's because for some reason I have no players. And he's scored. Right, okay, I'm going to have to drop it back. I'm going to have to go defensive because all of my players were up for the corner. Right, Bailey to Nagai. Ah! Penalty. What a little move from Nagai then. Who's on pens? I think we give it to Nakata because he deserves a score. And also because he's got 92 penalties. That'll do. Now, do I go for the Ronald Koeman tactic or do I bait him and go down the middle? Ronald Koeman tactic. It's worked. Let's go, Nakata. He deserved to go earlier, and for some reason, Emerson got it. But he's got his goal now. And that was all from the little movement from Nagai, which was filthy. Come on, the NTG. Four all. And he started an attack. Nakata's given it to Nagai. Nagai, return the favour. He has done. Nakata with the strike, and Mendy saved it again. Keepers are too good on this game. I'm going to say that so many times this year, but keepers are too good. Mate, the agility of Kamavinga is actually saving me in the midfield. Okay, as he just gets run into by a truck. Yes, Bono. Oh no, not there. Yes, that's offside. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, well on Dest. This is going to be the final attack. I saw Naga making a run and he stopped again. See, uh, it's going to be a draw. It's going to end in a draw. I don't know how that game has been a draw. How many times can I say the word draw? 
It is four all though, you know? I mean, we probably could have scored more. We could have taken advantage of the fact that he spent half the game with his controller on the floor. We're respectful, we don't take cheap wins in this series. A win and a draw in our first episode, you know, that's not bad. Undefeated, just how we wanted to start. Uh, Nagai, of course, with the 8.6 goal and an assist. Goals also from Vinicius Jr. Nikata, of course, with the penalty. And Emerson, for some reason, he was in the box. Assists coming from Serginio Dest, both the fullbacks involved in the goals, and Super Suke. And in case anyone was wondering, Super Suke apparently ran 10.8 kilometers in this game. So there you go. But as I said, uh, that is going to be it for the gameplay in this episode. I do want to make the episodes slightly shorter than I made them in Owen and Owen. So if I make them too long, then people will get bored. So that is where I'm going to end it. So if you guys have enjoyed NTG episode 2, please make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. I am on the road to 200 subs and I'm almost there. I would like to get there before the end of the year, if at all possible. So any new subscribers, I will welcome with open arms. <laughs> to be honest, turn on those notifications to get notified when my videos go live, and I'll see you all in my next video. See ya.